The second movement is a series of variations. This beautiful lilting theme is first played by the violas and the cellos. There's an answer to that played by the violins and the woodwinds. Then comes uh, the interlude, or you could call it a second theme as you like. First it starts played by the clarinet and bassoon. And then it becomes triumphant, played by the horns, trumpets, and the full orchestra. Then we're back to the original theme, except this time it's the first variation. So this variation has that original theme, but played still with the violas and the cellos, but with faster notes. It still has the response of the woodwinds and the strings, and again leads us back to the clarinets and bassoons with the second little theme, and the triumphant theme of the uh, trumpets, horns, accompanied by the strings. Then we get to the second variation, which are faster notes yet, again played by the viola and the cellos. Then there's a little version for the violins. Finally, they get into the picture and play a little variation, and that leads to a kind of heroic one. So far, the theme's always been soft, and now the cellos and basses are playing this same variation on this theme in a very extroverted way. remarkable uh, cadence leads us to um, a little um, interlude for the whole woodwind section. So now the woodwinds have a little something of their own. If you think of it, the piece has the string section playing what they play, the woodwinds playing what they play, and when we get to the triumphant, uh, you know, even though it's full orchestra, the timpani, trumpets, and horns lead that theme. So we have a little interlude by the, uh, by the woodwinds, and then we have a variation that the woodwinds play. So finally, they get to play a one of these variations by themselves. You can just see Beethoven's mind working. It's almost as if he had a checklist. You know, I'm gonna have some variations with the, with the woodwinds. I'm gonna have variations with the violins. I'll have one with the violas and cellos. I'll add the basses in this variation. I'll have the triumphant uh, theme played softly by the woodwinds and make that a variation on that as well.
uh, Beethoven alternated between the woodwinds, the brass, the strings back and forth. Uh, obviously, he had variation and he had contrast. Contrast volume, contrast of the speed of the notes, contrast of the, of the musical inflection or the musical uh, uh, impetus that uh, leads. Uh, he then even does the first theme, the one that we originally heard on the violas and cellos, in a heroic fashion played by the full orchestra. Another variation is a variation for the solo bassoon. And there's this little comment from the oboe. It's like a conversation, you know. The, the, the bassoon plays, you know. And the oboe does things like a little comment until they come together at the end. The final variation, uh, he takes the same material and he does it in a kind of mysterious way. The woodwinds are playing quite softly. And then it builds. It builds. It builds. wonderful Beethoven fashion, it ends strong and in a very positive uh, way. <laughs>